Well, hello, good people. Mark here, and we are back at the famous Red Brick House. And, um, boy, it feels good to be back. Uh, it was just Saturday that we left, and we're back here ready to do some more work, and uh, it's raining out. So I'm, I'm going solo here this week, so, uh, but it's all good. Um, people have things they have to do. Some of the things that I'm hoping to get done, I've worked um, at my house uh, on the cabinets and things. Um, my brother has made a hood that's basically going to go over these so that way the air from the ductwork will end up coming up uh, through the base of the cabinets because we uh, are having all the heating and air conditioning done from under. And we're going to work on building the cabinetry that's going to go in here. So we're going to have cabinets hopefully set up here. We might get really crazy and get the sink for this and get the uh, butcher block. I have the other piece right here for the countertop that we're going to add on to this um, as well and see how well it works. I may have made it a little bit bigger than it needs to be, so I might need to take a little bit off of it. Um, I would love to do some more plastering. Now, I ended up, looks like, looks like it's pretty good here. I ended up plastering over, this is where the top coat had been off. Um, I went over this with some of the uh, plaster that I've made, roughly. Um, I would like to go through and loosen up, like, the paint that's on these places and start spackle, excuse me, plastering up uh, these walls and things. You can see how bad, like, this one is over here. But we still have a lot of stuff that's in the way, so we need to be able to move stuff out of the way. On my truck, I do have a bunch of materials and things in there. Um, if you saw yesterday's video, you saw where we were making some of the flooring um, to work. And this is where we have tongue and groove antique heart pine flooring that's in here. But you can see we also have here where there's no flooring because this is actually where a heat bed was. So we're going to go through and we'll end up framing up around this a little bit more. We'll end up basically scabbing in some of the flooring to fix that space up underneath of there because that definitely needs to be fixed. All right, so we've got that that we need to do as well. There's always plenty of work to do here. Oh, boy. Upstairs, it's it's actually cold outside today. It's only like 62 degrees and raining. Um, we're going to take this door right here. We're going to take this out, and we're going to frame this up closed, um, and we're going to actually plaster this. Um, we don't need both doors in here. It just it's not needed, um, and this will become actually a closet. So I'll take that framing and that door off. I'll frame it up with some one by threes. I'll end up putting the, um, now I can't think of what you call it, the thin wood up on here so that way it'll be uh, able to be plastered. So we'll work on that this week as well. And if it ever stops raining, I'll probably go through and put the siding up here get this window and stuff done on the outside so we can at least say one side of the house is plastered and i have glass for this window replace that and replace this window glass now i'll need to do that from the outside but those are some of the things that we'd like to get accomplished this week if we can do that man we're rolling but at the moment, I better go ahead and get the stuff off the truck uh, before it gets waterlogged. Uh, the one by threes that I bought getting soaked will start warping real quick. They're not like the old school would.
Okay. All right. So this is, we make this the full length that I originally envisioned. Um, I'll probably end up, well, one, I've got to score it to make sure that we got a good fit edge. This is 48 and a half. I love having the extra space and depth wise here um, for it, but then we have 33 inches of space behind it. Now, sitting here, sitting here, this is about how I would sit. It would be like this, because now I've got enough space that I can sit here and grow and all that. Um, I've got enough of an overhang that, you know, I got plenty of leg room underneath them. The thing is, is how much space do we need behind this? We got 20 inches of walkway behind this. Hmm. Now we can take off two inches of this, and we may do that just to make it, yeah, we can take off up to three inches um, just to make it so there's a little more space to be able to go. Um, we might just do that, but I kind of like having this bigger because it's not going to be that often that you're going to have a whole lot of people that go through, and I like keeping people a little further away from the stove. Uh, so we'll figure it out between the two of them what we're going to do exactly, but I think um, I may take off about an inch. We'll just split the difference. This way, you've got plenty of space to actually work with here. Uh, the other thing will be will be is if we'll be able to uh, put in that other piece over here if that's going to block this up too much. Um, yeah, but I do like having this is my favorite spot being here in the kitchen and all that. This is basically all of your cabinets and everything that you're going to have to work with. So I'm not mad at this at all. All right. <coughs> we got everything off the truck now the question will be is am I gonna go ahead and get uh, go get some mortar uh, I mean excuse me go get uh, some sand so I can mix mortar for upstairs do I go ahead and get started on doing the cabinets um, we got a lot of different stuff that we're doing in here and we want to make sure that uh, we can maximize the time I do have some truck trash on the truck that I can get rid of, and if I do that, then it'll be, um, I, I'll go through and get uh, sand for the, uh, go get some sand, and then I can mix up mortar while I'm working. I can let it just kind of churn and churn and churn, although it is pouring outside, so there's that. All right, I'm going to figure out what we're going to do, and we're going to get started working up here. Uh, it'd be actually nice to see, um, start seeing this all come together. It's going to be real nice to see all this come together. Okay, so we've actually gotten started doing some stuff. So I actually messed up when I cut the original floor grill out because... Um, it was 22 and a half inches, which was too far for the kick plate. We have a floor joist that's right there. So I've recut that. So that way it is now up under where it should be. Um, my brothers made these vents. These are made to sit on top of it to blow out from under it. Only thing is he made them five inches and we're going to need to bend that a little bit. No big deal. But what I ended up doing is I took up the tiles that were there where it was cut and I put down three new tiles there on the floor. Jet, sorry, but I got, I got to keep on rolling, bro. Got to keep this thing rolling. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the dump, get rid of that stuff and um, get a truckload of sand. I'll just leave it on the truck for tonight, but then I can mix up some mortar later on. Um, I've gone through. I still need to do a little bit more sanding on this just a little bit to make sure that this seam is nice and tight but you can see this is where our countertop is going to be and i wanted to do something my wife was like why did you get a thermometer because i was curious 
about the temperature in the house versus outside of the house. Um, I've put this in, I've got the front door open. Um, this has a separate thermometer outside and one on the inside. I want to see how the temperature stays as far as being in here. Outside it's 64 degrees, it's 67 in here. So I'm curious to see how this holds heat versus outside. I know in the afternoon, it gets really hot on the front porch when the sun is out and it seems to stay cooler in here. Now I'm hoping that um, this will be a big week. Um, my buddy Jet is dealing with his mother being um, having cancer and brain surgery. So she has been um, rather busy uh, he's been rather busy dealing with that, and I don't want to press him or anything on it. Um, but we've got to continue to get this project and stuff together. So depending on um, if he's going to be able to be back this week or not, I may go ahead and finish off the flooring in here um, and get this grouted. I would love to be able to actually get this kitchen to the point where um, it's just easy peasy. In fact, I may go through and just before I put the cabinets on, grout this side so that way it's out of the way. Ideally, um, I'll build like my upper cabinet that's going to go here and my base cabinets and stuff like that. We can go through and start kind of closing this area off. You know, put some plastic here and put plastic there. We got a nice clean room and stuff. And as we go through, I've got to see if I can use some of those other doors here like I did for this one. Um, I may end up needing to shorten these down a little bit to be able to use them because all of the doors we had are a lot lower than, I forgot, skeleton key. They're shorter, they're shorter than your typical door. You can see they're not very tall. So we'll see if we can actually use these or not. Um, but we'll, we'll try. We're, we're going to try and find out if we can. I do have a couple more upstairs that we may try to see if we can use as well. Need to fine tune the door. All right, at least I got something done started already. I wanna see what it's gonna look like when we have these cabinets in here. Um, that's gonna be another major, major uh, change. And then we can judge before we glue this all together. Do we need to shift this left or right? And the nice thing about this whole island as I've built it is it will never be permanently fixed to the floor. It will be heavy as shit, but we can slide it if we need to one way or the other. If we need to take the refrigerator out, we'll be able to slide it forward and bring the refrigerator around. The other thing too, is when you look at this, you see the refrigerator, the depth of how deep it is, but this is like 30, 34 inches. The cabinets only come this far, so that gives us more space too. It's tight but I think it's going to work.